living in an apartment building in Brooklyn, demanding action after they say a homeless man has been sleeping in their hallways for two years. So they say that they call the police, but the man always ends up coming back. Michelle Ross has reaction from those fed up tenants. This is Rutland Plaza. There are more than 400 residential units here, but residents say for the last two years, a homeless man has made the stairwell his home. And the last straw for them was when he was recently caught on security footage doing something which we've chosen not to air. He was in the stairwell pleasuring himself, this wasn't himself. It's really disgusting. Because Jack it off. Something we've chosen not to air. Doing something which we've chosen uh, not to air. Anyone. He was in the stairwell pleasuring himself. This wasn't himself. It's really disgusting because elderly people, like, you know, and children, they go up and down the stairs. So imagine if they're walking through the stairs and they see something. Yeah, one of them might slip, man. <laughs> yeah, man. What if one of them elderly people Have a stroke? Slip? Yeah. Ain't the damn son man pleasuring himself on the steps, man. This wasn't himself. It's really disgusting because elderly people, like, you know, and children, they go up and down the stairs. So imagine if they're walking through the stairs and they see something like that. We've obviously chosen not to air that footage, but here is video of tenants constantly having to step over him and his trash. Residents say he goes by the name Purple and lives in the stairwell between the sixth and ninth floors and gets high on drugs. The smell is horrible. It's literally his smell. We went to check it out ourselves, but he wasn't there. Police confirm he was arrested earlier this week for robbing a nearby store, but residents believe he'll be back. And they say he's constantly able to return to this building because this front door isn't locked. Edward is a 10-year-old boy who lives in the building, worried for his mom's safety. I want to make sure she's safe and nothing happens to her. I just want to make sure I take care of my mother because I very love her. What a, like, I mean, this city, this is New York. This city is, like, run by, like, they can't they can't fix this little problem like i mean like this is a minor problem and it's been going on for two years this is dei man <clears throat> dei i don't give a shit about homeless rights and you know how hard it is to you know man let's he just robbed a fucking store the other day like that's your out you should be able to get rid of them now. Like, it's just bizarre, man, that these cities with these black mayors and these female mayors and these Democrat mayors, they can't solve minor things, little teeny little inconsequential problems that, like, Go on for years. Tenants created an online petition problems. to get him permanently removed from the building, claiming he has a hot plate and ottoman. They take it down, they'll put it near the trash, and then he'll come put it back upstairs. The building also suffers from other quality of life issues, like constant water leaks. HPD says it hasn't received complaints for broken locks, but plans to send an inspector to check it out and issue violations if appropriate. Residents hope something can be done soon, especially with multiple cameras installed before someone gets hurt. In East Flatbush, Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News. Police say the shooting death of a man in Brownsville, Brooklyn, may have been a case of mistaken identity. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge spoke to his family, trying to comprehend how and why this happened. Dozens of candles flicker outside the home of 36-year-old Desmond Francis, where we spoke to his aunt through the door, who says her nephew's light went out too soon. I just got a phone call. They just told me that he was shot. They took my nephew, left him, left he said, left his daughter without a father, left his heart, his mom, all heartbroken. His family says Monday at 1030, Francis had just finished his morning shift as a school bus driver dropping off students. He was working. He was on his work break. Investigators say he went into one of the shops along Ralph and Souter Avenues. 
Police say some kind of argument broke out. The suspect then chased him down the street, pulled out a gun and shot him in the stomach. This salon clerk says she saw him lying on the street and said he appeared to be on the phone calling for help. The guy called 911. Francis was rushed to the hospital but did not survive. Police say they are investigating the shooting as a case of mistaken identity. So far, there's no motive. Whoever did it, I hope they go turn themselves in or they catch him. His aunt says he leaves behind a four-year-old daughter. They say he was a family man. The life of the party, always cracking jokes, always smiling. They still don't believe it's real. In Brownsville, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. That shit is the same, man. You could just go into a store and some sun man's like, oh, there go that guy and shoot you dead and you be the wrong guy. Wow. Um, the sons don't care, man. Sons see you, they shooting you. It's not like a son will be like, all right, follow you till you get into an alley or something, or follow you until you, you know, pull off on a dark road. <laughs> son gonna kill you right there. I don't give a fuck if it's Times Square <laughs> or fucking, you know what I'm saying, anywhere. They gonna kill you right there. So if you mistaken the identity, man, you're like literally dead. Maybe if you were white, it's like, oh my God, there's the guy. All right, uh, let's trail him to his house. You might have a time and they could probably be like, okay, you know, like, oh, I, I think that's the wrong guy. That's not his car or what house is this? This isn't where he lives. You know what I'm saying? Sons, they see you, bam. Oh, she was the wrong guy. <laughs> That shit is crazy, man. Um, salute to everybody, man. <laughs> Great show, man. Same black time, same black channel. Ah, out of here. Peace out. Salute.